What's up Instacart fam? It's your boy, the Instacart Hustler here, coming you, uh, giving you guys another video. It's 8 a.m. Um, I just accepted an order from a, um, what do you call it, a Sam's Club. And it's about 30 some items. And I think one person has like only eight items for like 32 units. And I think it's just like a bunch of chicken. It's $32 order. It's only eight minutes away total distance traveled after that I think it's really I think uh, less than 10 miles so I'm predicting I finish this in less than an hour uh, one person only has like three items too all right hope you guys are doing well um, hope you guys like that last video I'm gonna be trying to give you guys as much tips as I can and uh, let you not let you guys know where I start and where I finish in this next super supermarket all right see you guys there and my goal today is to make anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars. <clears throat> I might not even eat lunch. Uh, I probably will if I'm trying to go for a 200 dollars. <laughs> but um, the reason why I'm trying to hit that number and not like 250, 300, is because <clears throat> um, I want to go home and work on a, two different channels that I started up. One for poker because I've been a professional poker player for about 15 years. And another, which I'm trying to uh, scale as well, both in betting and in the YouTube channel, is an MMA uh, betting channel. So if you guys want to check it out, uh, I can let me know and I'll send you guys a link. All right, I got my handy divider and I got my um, Sharpie and Post-it notes because I got a um, multitude of items in both orders. I don't really remember where everything is, but I'm just gonna go around in a circle because um, they all label the stuff on the sides. So I should be able to find everything pretty easily. They'll pr they probably won't have uh, Clorox and stuff like that though. Nice, they got bleach. They didn't have this for a long time when uh, Instacart first started because everyone wanted to get it. I'm just gonna put B on here. All right, so it looks like they're out of paper towels. They have those um, really crappy paper towels. They come in those boxes, but um, I don't think they want those. Anyways, I sent them a picture of those. And if they don't respond, I'll just refund it. I just need to get one more thing. It's hand sanitizer. This is going to be a really quick um, shopping time for me. It's only been about like 10 minutes. It's 8.57. I just got out of Sam's Club and I should have done the self-checkout because I don't have a lot of things. And it would have been much quicker. I think I, I could have saved at least five, um, at least five or eight minutes doing that. And saving that much time through each order uh, really adds up to a lot of time. So I had to refund a few items, Clorox wipes, Lysol, and sanitizer wipes because the uh, customer didn't respond and she didn't pick up the phone. That probably cost, that probably, um, cost me like $5 in profit. But it's okay, you know, just keep moving forward. Don't don't um, sit there and cry about it. That's not gonna do anything. Especially if they don't have the items. There's no point in sitting there and trying to look for these things forever if, uh, so, if, the, custom, if the employees say they don't have them. Dropping off my last order, it's gonna be about 9.09 .09 when I drop this off. So we'll be finishing this from start to finish shopping to delivery in one hour that's like as good as it gets you guys it's 9 31 i just picked up a, a 51 dollar batch from a target that's eight minutes away three orders uh, very few items only like 30 items or something um so it really shouldn't take long and stuff in target's really easy to find everything's uh neat and organized and so I, I'm, I'm guessing this is gonna take me um, like 25 minutes to get, maybe even sooner, depending on what kind of uh, items these are. If they're all groceries, it'll be even faster, but there'll probably be some sort of like supplies or like um, school supplies, who knows. Anyways, I'll see you guys there. Oh yeah, um, total distance traveled afterwards is only like six miles. So it's a really sick batch. See, it was the biggest order. A lot of things are missing at this Target. Um, so I have to refund a few things, but 
I was also able to get a, a few replacements too, which helped me. Just finished dropping that off at around 10.40. Um, so it took, I think, around an hour to finish. Really good for $50. I just accepted another $50 order at a Ralph's that's about uh, 18 minutes away. And I'm just gonna grab some uh, like some snacks real quick and I'm head over there. There's about 71 items at a Ralph's, so it's all groceries, which is great. I could definitely finish this in around 30 to 35 minutes. And the total distance traveled after that, I'm not sure I got a check, but it, it's definitely worth $50. On my way to Ralph's now, I'll give you guys some tips about Ralph's. If you can get familiar with Ralph's, then no matter what city you go to, and um, you'll be able to know like what items are in which aisle. For example, even though each Ralph's is going to be a little bit different, the same items are usually going to be in the group together. For example, the tuna is usually with or around the pasta, as well as the uh, canned chicken. And then you got like Asian international foods is usually next to pasta as well. And there you can find like Asian candy, Asian cookies, Asian soda pops, <clears throat> Asian sauces like the Dynasty brand oyster sauce, um, soy sauce, um, like different types of Asian noodles, and then you got like popcorns, it's usually grouped with the chips, and then you got stuff like the Lunchables or packed uh, lunches with deli, group, usually grouped with um, near the deli meats or the cheeses, and then you got like deli cheese that's usually in the deli section with like the boar's head, boar's head items. Um, sometimes usually there's hummus there or the hummus will be near the deli meats in the refrigerated area. And then you got stuff like the Claussen pickles, which is actually gonna be separate from the regular pickles because these are refrigerated. And these are also gonna be next to the stuff like the Lunchables or cheeses as well and let's see what else um, oh yeah the bread and the like ding dongs and those kind of snacks are gonna be with the bread and then you got like the planters peanuts usually next to either the cereal or granola areas I think or chips possibly and you got the protein shakes protein bars it is usually grouped with the personal items and the personal care and also the diapers and baby products usually around there as well as shampoo too and shaving items uh, teeth uh, teeth care and so yeah there's some of the that should help you guys with Ralph's start with produce um, and then make my way to the other end of the store and I'm gonna put all of uh, A in here and then B is only a few items so I'm just gonna put it in the baby cart all right, it took me 33 minutes uh, it would have taken 28 minutes but I had to wait five minutes for the uh, the uh, seafood guy to just show up this is order A this is order B I'm gonna whip out my driver's license so they can be ready for it. About seven minutes away from the second drop-off location. Um, so it'll be about 12.15 by the time we finish. Um, what time did we start? I think we started at like 11 something. So it'll probably take us around an hour to finish. After this, we'll be up about 1.30 something uh, within about four hours. So we're really killing it today, guys. Making almost $30 an hour, I think. 12.30 now, it took me a little bit, like 10 minutes to find a batch, but I found a batch, um, $34, three orders, pretty few units, I'd say 44, so it'd probably take me 20, 25 minutes to complete the order, um, but the distance traveled after is only six miles, so I think it'll take me about an hour and five, hour and 10 minutes to complete, but it is gonna take me like 20 minutes to get there, which is okay, I'll be happy with that. Um, 
So I think we're up about 130 something. After this, we'll, we'll be up about 170. I'll probably do one more after that and then call it a day and head home and, and start streaming and work on my other channels. All right, finished this in 27 minutes. This is order C. This is order B. And I have a divider here. And this is order A. This goes with order A. And this goes with order B. I'm gonna get a different card at the end though, so I can fit everything in once. Heading to the last stop, it's only nine minutes away. So I'll be finishing in about um, an hour. I think a little more. So this person, one of the, person A, she had really specific notes on her list to grab the beer first and then grab the um, the uh, meat patties second. So make sure you, uh, if you notice any notes, to read those first because yeah, you wanna make the customers happy like that. And then, there are three different deli meats that I just, I went to the deli first, or um, I went there after I got the beer and the, uh, the hamburger patties. And I had them slice those while I went and got the rest of my groceries so I could save time and not have to sit there and wait. So there's another hack for you guys. Um, what I usually do is I have them slice it and I'll go and get all the produce because the produce is usually right next to the deli. So drop that one off, it's 2 p.m. now. So now we're up over $150, uh, working from, I think, uh, 8.30 or 8 to 2. So we're making around $25 an hour. All right, guys, so I'm gonna call that for a day. I'm gonna go home, work on my other side jobs, my side hustles. Um, you guys should always have other side hustles that set you up for passive income in the future because you know i mean working instacart's great the side the side money is great but it's not it's not something you could scale right we're, we're basically self-employed we only make the money when we work and um i personally don't want to work you know and, and do instacart every day for the next 10 years it's not in my plans i want to set up multiple streams of income passive income things like youtube uh, e-commerce whatever I can do and uh, whatever I can work hard with that's gonna help me do what I love day in day out while also making you know passive income in the future and that's what I'm doing right now um, like I said I'm a professional poker player so I'm really trying to set up a channel get that going uh, try to help others other people make money playing poker as well as sports betting and then who knows who knows what else you know um, I'll get into in the future, right? I think if you're good at something, you should never do it for free. You should always try to have some sort of following. Always have people, um, you know, always share your story of success with other people because there's so many people that want to hear it. And there's so many people out there that are looking for something that they can they can do or they can follow, um, follow like, you know, they want to follow in someone else's footsteps who, who, who's been uh, successful. And there's plenty of that on, you know, YouTube, um, e-commerce, in my opinion. YouTube is the second best search engine in the world. I literally just started this MMA betting channel like a week and a half ago. And I've, I've already gotten almost 200 subscribers in two weeks simply by posting in Facebook groups, uh, forums, putting consistent content out there. And I only need a thousand subscribers to start monetizing my channel. So I'm really confident things are gonna work out for me. Um, let me know what other side hustles you guys got. Um, or, you know, if, if there's anything else you wanna know more about, about what I do as well. So I hope you guys like this video. I hope it helps you guys uh, be more efficient in your shopping and your Instacart driving. Um, let me know what you guys think definitely hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be working again tomorrow. And uh, if you guys want to set up or start get start shopping using Instacart, use my uh, referral link, jhuang21, I think it's 241, 21456. It'll be in the link anyways. 
I get a little something if you guys complete a certain number of batches. And I'll be happy to share, you know, a, a certain percentage of that if you guys are able to complete that. All right. Thanks, guys, and peace out.